grace and peace to you. From God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. We witness today one of the saddest stories of injustice in the history of the world. An innocent man is killed by capital punishment to the death penalty in front of all who love him and for a crime that he never even committed. We are supposed to be outraged. The arrest and trial of Jesus Christ are a sham. The religious elites have Jesus arrested because he tried to change too many things. And in the process, he made those religious leaders look like fools. In their minds, people like that need to be silenced, no matter what it takes. And they know, they know that their intentions are evil. That's why they have Jesus arrested at night. They don't want a public arrest and a public trial. They believe that they are the justice system. In Jesus' first trial, he goes to the temple to face the high priest Caiaphas and his father-in-law Annas. Jesus asks them why they think they can get away with this. He claims his innocence outright. But he gets slapped in the face for asking such questions. He is already treated as guilty. From there, they take Jesus to his second trial. They take him to the headquarters of the Roman governor. They take him to Pilate. And Pilate asks them, why they have brought Jesus to him. They respond, if this man were not a criminal, we would not have handed him over to you. They want Pilate to condemn Jesus so that the blood of Jesus Christ is not on their hands. But what's so interesting is that Pilate sees the innocence in Jesus Christ. Pilate tries to side with Jesus Christ. Pilate even tries to get Jesus released. Strangely, Pilate, who represents Rome, even wants more justice than the religious leaders. Pilate finds no case against him, but they still make sure that Jesus is treated as a criminal. Innocent Jesus is flogged, mocked, and tortured. We watch it happen to this innocent man. And those religious elite, they stir up the mob and they convince them that Jesus is a bad man. They don't need any proof. Their lies are enough to send Jesus to death. Jesus dies as an innocent man with shouts of crucify him on the air. Jesus leaves the fake trial headed straight to his death. No appealing the ruling like St. Paul at least had as a Roman citizen. And yet Jesus is to suffer the cruelest death that they had invented at the time. Crucifixion. The death penalty. For an innocent man. We watch it. God wants us to. They strip Jesus naked. They cast lots for his clothes because his clothes had some value, more value to them than the life of a human being. They nail his hands to the cross. And just to make sure that this death was going to be extra long and extra painful, they nail his feet too. 
They want to watch this innocent man suffer as long as possible. And if they wanted to get that extra time in, they nailed those feet so they could watch him try to push himself up just a little bit more so that that pain and suffering will be prolonged. They want to watch Jesus squirm as they squirmed when he taught against them and corrected them. Some important theological ideas for us to consider on this Good Friday are that we watch the crucifixion of Jesus Christ happen because the worst of state and the worst of religion get mixed together. An innocent man dies under the cries of law and order, but the reality of it is that injustice ruled the day under this mentality. The religious leaders have the blood of God on their hands. And sadly, they brought us all with them. Buying into the established worldly systems meant our own true guilt, the blood of the innocent painted on those who uphold injustice. And with his dying breath, in the Gospel of John, Jesus musters a solid, it is finished. And how poignant those words are. It is finished is what Jesus' whole ministry is about. The end of all injustice. With the death of with the crucifixion of Jesus Christ, we are hopefully sick at what this world can do. And we have hopefully learned at this point how important it is to hold up justice. If we aren't ready yet as Christians to do something to make this world more just, then we'd better watch Jesus die again. Because this all happens to make crystal clear that all injustice is supposed to be finished. Amen.